Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Daniel chapter 3, beginning at verse 19 and ending at verse 30. This is the Amplified Version. Daniel's friends protected. Then Nebuchadnezzar was filled with fury and his facial expression changed toward Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then he gave a command that the furnace was to be heated seven times hotter than usual. He commanded certain strong men in his army to tie up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to throw them into the furnace of blazing fire. Then these three men were tied up in their trousers, their coats, their turbans, and their other clothes and were thrown into the midst of the furnace of blazing fire because the king's command was urgent and the furnace was extremely hot the flame of the fire killed the men who carried up shadrach meshach and abednego but these three men shadrach meshach and abednego fell into the midst of the furnace of blazing fire still tied up then nebuchadnezzar the king looked and was astounded and he jumped up and said to his counselors did we not throw three men who were tied up into the midst of the fire they replied to the king certainly o king he answered look i see four men untied walking around in the midst of the fire and they are not hurt and the appearance of the fourth is like a son of the gods then Nebuchadnezzar approached the door of the blazing furnace and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out of there. Come here. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out of the midst of the fire. The satraps, the prefects, the governors, and the king's counselors gathered around them and saw that in regard to these men, the fire had no effect on their bodies. Their hair was not singed, their clothes were not scorched or damaged. Even the smell of smoke was not on them. Nebuchadnezzar responded and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and rescued his servants, who believed in, trusted in, and relied on him. They violated the king's command and surrendered their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. Therefore, I make a decree that any people, nation, or language that speaks anything offensive against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut into pieces and their houses be made a heap of rubbish, for there is no other god who is able to save in this way. Then the king caused Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to prosper in the province of Babylon. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.